Hello, my name is Chris Kurzik and I'm the Principal Engineer at Athabasca Engineering Solutions, AES for short. And uh, what does AES do? Well, first of all, we provide third-party value evaluations. We provide training and certification. We provide equipment re-rating. A little bit more about third-party value evaluations. Are you concerned about the value you are receiving from your engineering designs? Are you concerned about safety issues or getting the best equipment for the service? AES provides an independent third-party value-added reviews of static and rotating equipment. A bit more detail about training and certification. AES provides training and certificate certification for workers. Did you know that 60% of workers claim that training and development is the most important policy for a company so the, uh, for their careers? A training program with certification is available online and instruction is provided by highly skilled, experienced engineers. If there's any specific topic you wish to be reviewed, please contact us at AES. Equipment re-rating. Operators are constantly looking for ways to improve efficiency and reduced costs. This may require changes in flow rates, for example, or, or, or changes in pressure. Equipment upgrades may be required for more efficient modern technology. AES provides management of change methodology in conformance to API and CSA. We work closely with industry standards and equipment manufacturers to get great results. Okay, here's the outline of this presentation, part two. We can talk about API standards 12F, which is the field fabricated tanks, and 12P, which is the FRP tanks. And then we're going to talk about supporting specifications for basically all the 12 series tanks. We're going to just quickly review the API standards for tanks that are available to show us where we are. Last session, we talked about API 12B bolted tanks, followed by API 12D. Then we talked about, then in this session, we will talk about API 12F shop fabricated tanks, followed by 12P FRP tanks. Then in the, in the future episodes, we'll talk about API 620 and 650. These are the, the, the essential tank specs. API standard 12F shop fabricated tank. Now that's a tank that you see a lot in the oil fields. Its capacity is somewhere between 90 and 750 barrels. It's a vertical tank package design, cylindrical above ground. It has a standard uh, pressure and external pressure of uh, shown there. And the temperature, once again, is not applicable. Some interesting things about this tank. Of course, it's much smaller than API 620 and 650 design. It's closed roof. And the, the, the dimensions are fixed as well. It's based in a chart. And so the diameter varies from 7 foot 11 inches to 15 uh, foot 6. And uh, the heights vary as well. Now you should also check with the manufacturers as well or the fabricators to see. Sometimes they'll have their custom. But the 12F, um, the dimensions are, are fixed. Minimum engineering. The whole idea of all the 12s, once again, is to minimize... Um, the, in, the cost of construction and so um, you have to live within the venting and thermal requirements um, for the tank. Live loads aren't considered so 
basically it's up to the judgment field of, of how much uh, the tank should be restrained. Next, we're going to talk about API 12P Fiber Reinforced Plastic Tanks, FRP for short. API has a standard for these tanks. Of course, they're shop made. API 12P comes, according to the spec, 900 to 1500 barrels. They're vertical, cylindrical above ground. They can have a cone or domed roof. But the, the dimensions that are shown in API, beware, you check with the manufacturer because they have specific sizes. Typically, they're limited by the diameter and the length they can, they can increase as required. The typical default internal pressures and external pressures are shown in the table below. And there's no discussions on, on temperatures, so it's, it's not a consideration for service. API 12P for FRP tanks is based upon the re recommended practices from the Fiberglass Tank and Piping Institute. Note that AP, other organizations have borrowed Fiberglass Tank and Pipe Institute standards. They include UL, Underwriters Lab, Laboratories, ASME, and the pulp and paper industry has their own tank standards. Note that the ASME RTP um, has very specific engineering requirements um, for the design, and there's a much more detailed design. Uh, underground tanks, UL uh, 1316 is very common. Note that there are a few supplementary standards or specifications that API provides for, for tankage. Note that API 2000 is sometimes used, but there are, there are uh, requirements written in the 1200 series tanks as well. So have a look at that. Uh, RP 2350 is about overfill protection for, for the tanks. Equipment specification, many 12F tanks have oil field heaters, so API 12K is used. A few final thoughts about API related supporting tanks specifications. There are a couple specifications which uh, were, were legacy ones. Uh, 12C is for welded for, for uh, welded steel storage tanks, which has been replaced and uh, from the 1950s and another one here called RP 12H bot tank bottom installation. It, it's uh, recommended however for riveted tanks. Um, API has replaced that but uh, it's, it's, it was designed particularly for the 12, 12 series of API tanks. Uh, the RP uh, 12R1, which is setting maintenance, inspection, and operation repair, was also designed specifically for uh, the 12 series. But you know, it's it's a reference, so you can use that as well for um, the 620 API 620 and the 650 specs. But there will be some overlap with API uh, 650 and 653 and some of the other supplementary um, API specifications. Now, these specs here are kind of classified as electrical specs, but it's really with cathodic protection and grounding systems for tanks. And no matter what type of tank you use, these specs are, are relevant. They're all considered to be uh, recommended practices. So, um, to supplement the, perhaps the client specifications. But the first one, uh, RP651, cathodic protection of above ground tanks, is, is a, has a lot of experience there. And of course, RP545 is for lightning protection. And RP2003 is a, uh, fire protections against ignitions arising out of static which could be from loading, lightning, and stray currents. Um, 
impressed currents in the ground. Finally, we'll talk about inspection, repair standards and how they relate to API 12 series tanks. The main standard that's supplementary with inspection repair is API 2015. It's with regards to safe entry and cleaning of petroleum tanks. And uh, is, in my opinion, that applies not only to, to uh, API 620 and 650 tanks, but it should also apply to, to uh, Series 12. Also recommended practices for repair include RP12H, which is designed specifically for Series 12 type tanks, installation of new bottoms for old storage tanks, um, API RP12R1, maintenance inspection and operation repair of tanks in production. We Again, there, this is sort of a cousin to API 653, and from what I've been told, 12R1 is much older than API 653. Um, would you use 653 on top of, instead of that? That's a, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, 653 has a lot more, it's a lot more comprehensive, but uh, you should be aware of that when using 12 tanks because there might be some legacy records associated with that. Next one is called RP 574 inspection practices for piping components. Uh, this is for the you know the, the interconnected piping systems and that inspection you may require. This is a very handy spec. And finally RP 575 inspection of atmospheric and uh, low and uh, low pressure tanks that that's up to you about that but there's some some definitely some um some things that are quite handy i know it doesn't apply to low pressure tanks but atmospheric pretty good i hope that you found this presentation useful and valuable to you this was provided by Athabasca Engineering Solutions. We'd love to hear your feedback and, and your thoughts on further videos. And we'd love to hear from you. Maybe we can do some business. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Take care for now. 